Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so I have a really, really cool bath bomb to kick off my month of Halloween bath bombs. And I was gonna start with a different one, but I think I'm gonna wait on that one just a little bit longer because I'm still thinking about it. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with it or how I wanna do it yet. So I have a brand new one tonight from Sweet Shop of Horrors, which is one of my very, very favorite companies. I'm just absolutely in love with her bath bombs. And this one, of course, is from Poltergeist and it's called Don't Look Into the Light. And of course, that's Carol Ann leaning up against the staticky television. movie is just still hand, stands the test of time to me. I still think it's really cool and creepy and awesome and it's just it's really awesome. I love it. So um, I love the color of this. Of course it's hand painted. You can tell um, it's got a great color. It's huge. It's, it's bigger than my hand. Um, so I can't wait to see it, to get it in the water. This is available on her site right now. So if you like this, if you wanna try the shop and you haven't before, she has this one and she's got a brand new Friday the 13th bath bomb. It's shaped like a hockey puck and I think it's called Mama's Boy, which is hysterical. Um, she has some really new cool soaps out too. So definitely go check out her site when we're done with this, but um, this is available right now. I can't promise it will be in the next day or so. So definitely go check those out as soon as possible. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this one in the water. This one, I didn't actually say. It's scented in um, a sweet pea and vanilla. It smells really good. It is florally, but it's sweet. It's sweet, so I, I like this scent. It's so big. I really didn't know if it was gonna float or not, so I'm very impressed. This water is turning a really, really pretty um, aqua color because that teal kind of turquoisey blue is just kind of a lighter color. Whoop! Did it go down? Oh, it did. Look at the okay. Look at the gold. Gold is a really, really pretty right there. Okay, let's see. Let's see. If I can get it back. That's so big. So she makes her own molds. I don't know if she does all of them, but I know that she is um, at least starting to. She does um, some amazing carvings. You just have to go to her Instagram and check out. Um, she's got all kinds of cool pictures of things that she's carved. And so um, I'm not sure that she did this one, but I wouldn't be surprised. This is looks like it's going to take a long time. This reminds me of um, Mrs. Creature because it's so, so big, and it was really heavy too, so I don't know that it floated or it would have floated, but I kind of held it, it a little bit too um, and picked it up, and I, I thought that was cool when I picked it up out of the water. But um, So this is not a fast fizzer. It's just kind of foaming, and I don't know if that, I think that maybe anesthetizes why it doesn't really want to float, but this smells so good. It's really, really fragrant. This water is just a really, really pretty color. You know, you really could if you wanted to. I would hate to do this to one of hers because they're so, so pretty. Um, this is definitely the size of two bath bombs if you wanted to break it in two first and just put half in at a time. You could definitely get um, two baths out of this. It 
feels really, really soft too. Alright guys, so this is our final watercolor. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. It's a little, little bit darker, a little bit deeper than it was a few minutes ago, but not much. It reminds me of the Bella Luna watercolor, um, the bath bomb I did of hers a couple months ago that was just a beautiful, beautiful blue. So um, the water is super, super soft. It's really, really going to be moisturizing, I think. But um, let's check out the bubbles and see what they're going to do too because I bet you we are going to have some bubbles with this one because it was so big and it was foamy. So let's check that out too. All right. Let's check this out. We have lots and lots of bubbles. Okay, so this scent also, it's beautiful. It's really strong, I love it, it's gorgeous. It is sweet pea, but it's, it's not, it's not florally as far as if you don't like florals, you'll still like the scent. I absolutely love it, it's really nice. I like it just as much as I do the May flowers of hers, the Susie scent, so I definitely recommend this scent because it's sweet and it's just lovely, it's, it's beautiful. So if you get this bath bomb and you agitate your water, if you don't have jets in your bathtub, you're still going to get some bubbles with this bath bomb. I don't even think those have been on one minute, but I'm going to go ahead and turn the jets off and we'll check them out and we'll see what they look like. All right, these are awesome. If I let those keep going, they would totally build up past the ledge there. And these are, I would say, medium density. This is what I would call your, your standard bubble bath kind of bubbles. So these are just, they're nice, they're fun, they're really soft, and you still have that blue water, that really moisturizing blue water underneath. So I love these. Really nice. And the scent is really nice too. Um, I'm not sure about the shimmer. I'll have to let you know when I get out what that was like. But um, I'm going to hop in the shower as usual, and then I'm just going to let you guys know how it was when I get out. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. So I'm done with my don't look into the light bath bomb from Sweet Shop of Horrors. And as you can see, there's just a little bit of that gold luster left in the bottom. But this bath bomb, it was highly pigmented. Once I got down to the watercolor again, I let my bubbles die down a little bit and then I turned my jets on again. It was really, really blue. So that's awesome that there's just a little of that gold left down at the bottom. Um, this bath bomb was highly moisturizing. I do not need a lotion or a body butter, which is awesome. And the scent was really strong, or it is really strong, because my bathroom still smells amazing, and it's going to linger on my skin for a while. So definitely go check her out. I will have all of her links listed below, as usual. And I did have a couple of broken links for some reason on my previous videos, but I have since fixed those, so the links should definitely work down below and in all my other videos. So definitely go check her out, and you can grab anything, definitely go ahead and do it. If she's got things in stock that you think you might be interested, go ahead and pick them up and give her a try. Thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. Look for more Sweet Shop of Horrors demos on my channel, and happy October. See you next time. Bye-bye.